our days are filled with moments of interaction and moments of solitude. Although any given moment is likely unremarkable, our patterns of interaction could offer profound insight into the quality of our lives. We've begun studying social biomes, or the nature and patterning of social behavior, to explore the link between small moments of communication and subjective well-being. We combed through tens of thousands of moments and hundreds of days of interaction from nearly 400 people. Along with many similarities, differences emerged between people with the healthiest and least healthy social biomes. Healthy biomes consisted of more frequent and longer interactions. In healthy social biomes, two-thirds of interactions were with close friends and family. That number was about 50% in the least healthy biomes. People with the healthiest biomes had more choice about how and when they interacted, and, when alone, felt more content to be that way. Everyone's days were filled with functional interaction. Yet those with the healthiest biomes had meaningful conversations 2.5 times more often and expressed affection or concern for others on 92% of their days. As we navigate our days, small changes to our communication might make a world of difference to our well-being.